You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm going to be playing uh, SmackDown, the first one. And you remember I already played the second one before, but um, the Royal Rumble there always bothered me with the slight uh, load times, and um, the performance was actually not perfect if it improved in this version um, I mean on the on this version of uh, Bleem Sync if there was uh, additional fixes with the speed maybe I'll give it a go sometime soon but this time I want to play the first game since I haven't um, tried this yet and uh, to be honest I um, I like the roster here better. They're largely similar anyway, so uh, you'll probably not even notice that there is actually a d difference with the selectable characters. But I suppose it's just because this is the era where I was really um, so much what so much into wrestling. Follow Raw's War every week, and then SmackDown eventually. Here. Let's go over that roster again and let's see if my memory is correct. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Oh, we don't have Kurt Angle though. It's a few female. Yeah, I, I guess the the roster here is uh, smaller. But all right, let's go for the Rumble. Okay, let me start with the rock. Jeff Hardy, Farouk, Edge. Wow. Takes me way back. Alright, Triple H. Undertaker and Stone Cold. That's main event material for you. See if my memory is correct on the how this performs, and uh, also comparing it to its sequel. It's just um, memories are like coming back <laughs> as I watch these uh, intros entrance uh, for each wrestler. Here we got the Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. Yeah, I love that faction. When they were going up against uh, the corporation. Uh, that was really fun times. Alright.
That hardcore Holly. Wow. All right. Yeah, let's get him out. Okay. It's just you and me, hardcore. I remember those days where Brock was afraid of hardcore Holly. <laughs> a different time then. Oh no! We missed the rock and sock uh, connection there. Alright. Well, Dilo doesn't have his... Uh, Run armor, padding, protection, whatever. Yeah, Steve Blackman. Uh, I, I always find it funny that he has uh, an entrance where he demonstrates his uh, his uh, talent with the harness sticks. But those are banned anyway for, for wrestling matches. So it's kind of weird, pointless. And uh, Al Snow, the leader of the job squad. I bet nobody really recalls who Tori was. And there's Tori Wilson, but this is a different Tori. Right. I think I have to choose someone now. Let's go with uh, Bubba Ray. All right. Can't seem to. I cannot select them. Looks like I'm stuck with uh, D'Lo Brown, I guess. Oh, there. Someone got eliminated. Let's see who's coming up. Shane McMahon. <laughs> The, the main thing for me there is that the load times isn't as jarring as in Smackdown 2 where it really halts everything so anyway just for fun I'll have at least one match Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, I should have removed the intros. Game. 
So anyway, for wrestling fans, yeah, um, I guess it's a uh, toss up between this or the second one. I mean, these are honestly more accessible than say WWF Attitude, Warzone. So, whichever SmackDown you choose to load on your classic, I think they're both fine, honestly. Um, I guess if you want more wrestlers, you can go with the um, the second one. But this one, I specifically chose this one just because of the rumble. Ah, stunner! Stunner! That's the sole reason why I prefer uh, the first one. Alright, one match. Even though I lost. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll try the WCW games instead. Alright, so watch out for it. And uh, you're watching 8 bit days a week. This is WWE Smackdown on the PlayStation Classic with the new Bleem Sync version as of this recording it's Bleem Sync 1.0 please do like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching